Hi there, it's Carver Pippin and welcome to my channel. Today's speed build, I have done a house called Chestnut Manor. This was kind of aimed for this spooky season we find ourselves in. I want you to do a kind of big old fashioned manor house. I was originally going to make it a bit spooky, but I just didn't. I just wanted to make it a family home. That tends to be my style. When I end up doing spooky homes, I end up making them. Just, I just want lovable houses. I don't know. I just always make lovable Sims houses. So this idea of doing it in a spooky manner ended quite quickly. But it is the the hint of an old manor house using the Strangerville kind of windows and doors because I wanted it to be kind of like gothic-y, Victorian-y kind of house. There's lots of bump out window pieces. There's the tower at the top of the house which is not accessible at all and yeah just really having a kind of old home feel to this. It is a four bedroom home, a master, teen, kid, toddler, all that. It's a large living area downstairs. We have a full dining room, big kitchen, a library and a kind of living room with fireplace and lots of seating area. It is kind of old, kind of gothic American is what I was going for here. Um, and I actually really love it. Um, I was planning on making it kind of old and run down and a bit kind of spooky. But again, I kind of got way too into doing pretty nice details that I ended up backtracking on that plan and going for something a bit more of a livable home. It's definitely a grand house, um, especially with having the, the library study, kind of that kind of style to it. I really like how it's ended up. The kitchen is this kind of middle back piece that leads onto the, the kind of formal dining room. You've got the kind of library at the front with study. It has the chess table and a nook for reading and things, and there's space to put other skill items in there. The sitting room has got loads of seating area, lots of space, TV over the fireplace, enough room to put like a Christmas tree or other items in that room. There's a good amount of space. Um, and then upstairs you've got quite large master and teen kid toddler bedrooms with lots of space for kind of adding more items and toys and kids things. It is a big house. It is very expensive. It's over 100k um and you could tell that because i just no holds barred just bought everything and anything i fancied a big desk and pc with kind of chess items i even put a grandfather clock in there to make it look very kind of old-fashioned and all the furniture is very designed around it being like an old mansion house i tried to kind of keep that element for most of the home i hope you're enjoying the spooky season I know I didn't really do a spooky build here, um, it ended up being quite a pleasant home, but uh, I do love the kind of spooky Halloween season. I am a big wimp though, I don't really like horror movies. I really love Halloween and everything about Halloween, apart from the scary movies, as I am a big wimp and will not watch them, um, which is quite fun in this situation. Yeah, bring on Night Before Christmas and Hocus Pocus for me. I like Halloween, but nothing to do with being scared. <laughs> um, and that's maybe why I'm not big on doing kind of run-down, scary, haunty toasies because I just don't have a passion for that in kind of away from TV world. Maybe that's why um, I just wanted to build quite a nice grand home. I hope you enjoy the rest of this build. Um, I even added a couple of little pumpkin ideas outside. We've got some kind of autumny trees and a pond. The garden's quite bare at the end, um, as I felt like kind of just added to the exterior of the house a bit more. And there's, but there is lots of space outside to add your own kind of garden um, furniture that you might want, or kind of toys outdoor playing area and stuff like that if you fancied but I thought it added more kind of to the style of the home to keep it very bare but there is lots of space to add more stuff and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Do leave me a little like or comment if you enjoyed it and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!